Bed bugs are the thugs of the insect world. Bed bugs are rarely seen these days because of the widespread use of DDT during the 1940s and 50s to exterminate all sorts of pests in the U.S. However, bed bugs are making a comeback. Hotels and motels are among the places that suffer from bed bugs infestation. According to studies, bed bugs come back may be attributed to international traveling of Americans to countries with bed bugs infestation on hotels and motels and the immigration to the states by people from countries with bed bugs infestation. You will not be even sure if your own household is bed bugs free. If you have not seen one but suspect that a bed bug hitched on your clothes and has started a colony in your home, try to know the basic things about bed bugs so that you would know if you need to treat your home from infestation. Genera and species of bed bugs. Bed bugs are small, brownish in color, flat, nocturnal insects. Bed bugs belong to the family Samosidae that live by feeding on human and animal blood. Bed bugs with scientific names called Cymex lectularis are the common household bed bugs. They are the species of bed bugs that feed on humans and have adapted to human environments. This type of bed bug is found in temperate climates. Believe it or not, they are the same bed bugs that torment people from the ancient times. There are other bed bug species such as Cymex hemipteris, which are found in tropical regions like Florida right here in the U.S. These type of bed bugs also infest poultry and bats. Another bed bug species, the Leptocymex buti, which are found in the tropics of South America and West Africa, infest not just humans but bats as well. Bed bug species with scientific names known as Cymes, Cymex pilocelis and C. pipistrella primarily infest bats. A bed bug species of North America, the Hymosapien inodora, primarily infests poultry. Physical characteristics of bed bugs. Adult bed bugs are small, oval, flattened, reddish brown, and wingless. Many people think that bed bugs are so small and move so quick that they're not any more visible to the naked eye, and they're right. Adult bed bugs grow to 4 to 5 milliliters in length, and all they, do, they, they do move quite fast. They are not as fast as others perceive them to be. People do not see bed bugs because bed bugs stay still on the bed, sofa, or mattress crevices, and they bite people only when they are still, such as when we are sleeping. Newly hatched bed bugs called nymphs are translucent. You can see right through those little suckers. Their color becomes browner as they reach maturity. Their size, it's often compared to apple seeds. Feeding habits of bed bugs. Bed bugs can live more than one year without feeding. But when a host is present, that's you or me, they feed regularly every 5 to 10 days. Although bed bugs may attempt to feed on human blood any time of the day, they are generally active and feed only at night. One hour before dawn is the prime time for bed bugs peak attack. Bed bugs, like any other insect that feeds on human blood, such as leeches, inject anesthetics on the skin of their host so that piercing and blood sucking will not be felt by the human host. This is made possible with the two hollow tubes of bed bugs. One of their hollow tubes releases saliva that contains an anticoagulant and anesthetics while the other tube withdraws the blood. It's a two-step process for those little suckers. Bed bugs feed for about five minutes and they immediately return to their hiding place, such as the bed, mattresses, and pillows. Health effects of bed bugs bites on humans. Unlike other blood-sucking insects such as mosquitoes that carry malaria and dengue fever, also known as yellow fever, bed bugs are not known to have to cause transmission of any diseases that are transmitted through blood, such as Hep B, HIV, and other diseases. They are not regarded by scientists as a medical threat, although they may cause severe itching and skin marks on the bitten part of the skin. Skin infections and scars may precipitate due to scratching a bitten part, and this may require medical attention by a dermatologist. However, a calamine lotion may subside redness and itch of the bitten part. The thing that you do want to do, definitely, before you get any treatment of any kind, is to wash with warm water and germicidal soap first before you apply any type of calamine lotion.